Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to raise the output of your projector by many many lumens without any extra cost. There are two amongst the many many reasons why the output of your projector is so low and uh, they both have to do with what you put into your projector. Sometimes you're just not putting into the full range that your graphics card can output into your projector. Make sure you have the full color range activated. You don't have to dig into all the color management settings of your system. Just leave them alone. Mostly these are fine. Just uh, make sure you're outputting the full range. And secondly, your content. If we go into After Effects and check out the great footage we're having here, it's uh, part of the Shockwaves collection by videocopilot.net. So if you want to go there and check out their footage and their um, material they have, they offer, they offer some really nice stuff. So here we have a, well, some explosion thing happening. And you might notice that the whites are, have a look at your information over here, not fully white. They are around 90%. They are not fully white. So those white portions output only 90% of what is possible as a light output of your projector. So to change that, let's insert a adjustment level and use some levels. And you can see that the levels are quite limited, so we've pushed this up, push this up a little. You can see these areas actually now represent 100%. That's uh, I went a little too far. I'm losing my contrast in the in the heights here, but um. Here we go. 100% on the white spots and then there are some pixels at 97%. But I don't like levels because levels don't really allow you to manage the midtones properly. So we just can play around with the gamma here. Um, that, that doesn't seem to be what I want. I like control. So let's go into the curve settings and change the curves. Same game here. We take the upper bright part and we pull it until the white portions, the white pixels in this image are up to 100%. So just a little more. Well, here we are. And if you want to be the professional kind of editor, you can pull out your scopes. Let's just limit this to our waveform. We don't need the parade here. And if you're pulling your curves here, you can see those little dots collecting up here. I'm really sorry now due to the coronavirus spread and everybody streaming at home. YouTube just limited the resolution to uh, standard resolution. So I'm sorry if you can't see those dots. They are here and they are collecting. If I pull more, you can see them collect up here. So we don't want them collect up there. We just want the bright gray tones to be white white white. So here we are. That should be around here. 100% around here somewhere. So now we're fine. And now I can actually also play with the midtones and give them a little more curve and a little more contrast because contrast is what makes us feel brightness a little more. So here we are. This is a nice curve. It already looks a lot brighter. So you can do this to any of your projected images. Just be careful not to blow out the whites. So if you go too far, if you pull it too far, those areas just clip and you have this big areas of full white. You don't really want that. Let's go back and adjust the curve so you have some nice contrast. And the projection and the projected result is making use of the full range of your projector. Always do these adjustments with the projector connected, projecting onto the surface that they're going to use because that makes a tremendous difference. It's not different from using images out of a camera, but here you have to be careful not to clip areas that you're not looking at because you're actually concentrating on one area to play around with the curves. And uh, if you're now adjusting the curve here, to hit the white here and to have a nice contrast. And now you zoom out, you find out that, for example, that side just started to suffer from your manipulations here. 
So if you want to be really sure to see all the crucial points, it's a good idea to pull the curves really aggressively and see where the brighter spots and brighter areas are. So if you're pulling it like this, you can see what to watch for. So here is an area that can easily clip. Then the forehead is going to clip easily. And same goes for the black areas if we're pulling here. Okay, we can see this area will clip very soon. So we have to be careful about these areas. So now let's get some new curves in here and manipulate our brightness and our dark dark parts and the contrast in between. Always looking at the parade so we can see as soon as we are pushing them in here. So those little dots appear again. You can see, okay, still we have some some information in here in the whites. And as you can see, we are winning about 20% of brightness here. If you want to go further, just pull up the mids a little, but always remember that those areas, those brighter areas will get a little flat and under contrasted. So maybe this is where we want to go. This has a lot to do with taste and always do those corrections with the projector connected projecting onto the surface that you're going to use and with the light conditions in which you're going to project. Thanks to my mate Jorge. I will link his Instagram below. Go visit his Instagram. He's a great performer and dancer and it was a lot of fun working with him on this particular piece. If you like those little tutorials on the basics of projection mapping and projection design, just uh, follow this channel. Subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any new updates and I'll be seeing you next time.